South Dakota health and medical officials are fighting an uphill battle to prevent the spread of potentially deadly infections that are increasingly resistant to antibiotics. I'm South Dakota Newswatch reporter Bart Fancook. In the latest piece published by Newswatch, we examine the rising concern over antibiotic resistance and show who is at greatest risk of contracting an illness that cannot be treated with traditional antibiotics. Since 2012, South Dakota has seen two significant outbreaks of CRE, an intestinal bacteria that is hard to kill with antibiotics and which can have a mortality rate as high as 50%. After extensive containment work, medical professionals were able to control the outbreaks without major spreading or any fatalities. Overall, however, the state has seen 162 cases of CRE over the past six years. The spread of CRE and a few other dangerous antibiotic-resistant bacteria have medical experts across South Dakota and the world scrambling to reduce the use of antibiotics overall and to encourage doctors and patients to use medications wisely. Some South Dakotans are at higher risk of contracting an antibiotic-resistant illness. The risk is highest among people who live in long-term care facilities who, or who are frequently hospitalized. Anyone with a catheter or medical port or, or who has diabetes or influenza is also at risk. Some experts say the world is heading toward a crisis in which bacterial illnesses that were once easily treated with antibiotics could someday become resistant and impossible to treat. But doctors in South Dakota say reduced use of antibiotics, development of new antibiotics by pharmaceutical companies, and greater hand washing by hospital staff and patients can help reduce the spread of resistant bacteria. For much more on this topic, please go online to sdnewswatch.org. Thank you.